Oh, hello, welcome back to Plumbing College. Today's lesson is part two in pipe bending. In part one, I taught you how to bend 90 degrees, 30 degrees and 45 degrees. Today's lesson, we are gonna look at some more techniques. Stay tuned. Be mindful, a 45 degree bend can also be referred to as a 135 degree bend if measured from this angle. Well, be mindful, a 30 degree bend is measured from this angle, but some people refer to it as 150 degrees because they measure it from this angle. Um, Let's look at a basic measuring and bending technique. How much pipe do we need? 140 millimetres plus 150 millimetres equals to 150 plus 140 equals 290 mm. Right, let's measure 140 mil and mark it. Insert the pipe into the pipe bender. Make sure the 140 millimeter side is on the side where the stop goes. The reason being, when the pipe is bent, this side of the pipe will not move. Okay. Using the folding ruler, set the angle to 45 degrees. Right, so using the folding ruler, make sure it touches both sides of the former and it's also parallel with the pipe. Touching the former, touching the former, and parallel, which is here. Then we then do a mark. This mark is the center of a 45 degree bend. Right, so what we now do, with our 140 mark and the center of the bend mark, we need to line them both up. Like this. Right. Now let's bend it 45 degrees. Okay. We can always double check the accuracy of our pipe bender by putting a folding ruler on the pipe to check the accuracy. Okay, so let's then check our measurements to the specification. So 140 mil to the center of the bend. And then the other side needs to be 150 mil. Now you've learned some more bending techniques, it's your turn to have a go.